All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. We're going to be solving question 78 from the first chapter of the Hitler textbook, Mechanics of Materials. And we have member B that is subjected to a compressive force of 600 pounds. And we know that A and B are both made of wood and are 1.5 inches thick. And we need to determine to the nearest 1 8 inches the smallest dimension a of the support so that the average shear stress along the blue line does not exceed 50 psi and we can neglect the friction there's a typo in here so this will be the shear rate so, so this will be the maximum shear rate that we have which is 50 psi and we can neglect the friction so we are in equilibrium we can go with the free body diagram of each part let's start with the free body diagram of part b so we have this member being here that has 600 pounds force on one side and on the other side what we have is something like this which can be considered two different forces we can consider one fy in here and one fx and uh, we're going to call our x and y in here too so we can start with the sum of all forces in x direction this will be our positive side and if we do that we have the x component of the 600 pounds and since we have the information regarding the dimension we have this right triangle here and we know the cosine of this angle here which we can call it alpha which would be this angle 2 would be 4 over 5 so we have 600 times 4 over 5 minus fx is equal to 0 and from here we can find fx which will be 120 times 4 or 480 pounds and we can do the sum of all forces in y direction in order to find the fy but fy is not something that we are interested in here because what we are interested in here is if we move on to the free body diagram of this part we can call it c maybe so i'm going to draw the free body diagram of the c and what we have in here obviously we have the fx in the opposite direction based on the newton's law and we have a force in here which we can call it c and that's the force that is making that shear in here and if we want to do the sum of all forces in x direction basically have fx minus c is equal to zero which means our c is basically the fx or 480 pounds so what we are interested in here is the the shear in here which will be basically the force c over the area so the force c is 480 and the area is basically the area of this part if we want to show it in three dimension we are interested in the area of this part so we know this side is i and from the question we know is 5.5 inches thick so the area of that rectangle would be a times 1.5 and this cannot exceed 50 psi so in order to have the maximum of the shear shearing stress we have to have the minimum or the smallest a that we can have in here which is what the question is asking so we have to find the smallest dimension a of the support so basically in here we can cross multiply so 480 would be equal to 50 times a times 1.5 so if you want to calculate a so we have 480 divided by 50 divided by 1.5 which will be 6.4 inches and from the question we have to find the the determine to the nearest one eight inches so the closest that we can have in here would be 6.5 or we can report our a as six and a half inches as the final answer for the question so yeah that's pretty much everything for this question hope all this made sense let me know if you guys have any questions and we are covering different textbooks in this channel feel free to check out the playlist and let me know if you have any specific problem from the textbooks that we are covering in this channel i'd be happy to cover that problem in the next videos uh, you guys take care i'll see you in the next video have a good one